hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to add custom fields in our user table so we are going to make the autofill thing in the checkout page so previously we had built this checkout system so when you press on place order it will take all this data and insert it into your order table so when the user is coming for the next time so when it is not his first time so we need to fill this details automatically based on the first orders details so for that what we are going to do is we are going to store that in the users table so here you can see in our users table we have only the first name last name and the other things what we want to store address is not uh, defaultly available in this and it's not a good practice to edit this table so what we are going to do is we will create a profile table and we will link it with the one to one field to this users table so that when the user is coming for the second time then we will just autofill this or if it is the first time then we will insert that data in the database so let's get started with it so i'll open my code over here and here when we are placing the order right here we have to fill the data so first let us create the model for that so i'll just fold this order and order item say class profile models dot model and here we are going to have the user field first so this is going to be a one to one field and the model is going to be user model just remove this thing and on delete cascade yeah so if the user has been deleted just uh, delete the record of his profile also so after that let me just check in our checkout page so first name last name is given in the users table so we will just fill that thing over here next we have the email phone email is also available there it's over here so we have the phone address city state country and pin code so we'll say phone and i'm going to say it as character field and max length you can just leave it to 50 and say null equal to false copy and paste that same thing and here just change it to address change that default length to 500 i think here it is we have given right address we have taken it as text field you can just take that same thing not a problem i'll just take this whole thing from here itself so we have the address city state country and pin code and then we can keep a created at field over here so it's over here created at copy and paste so when, when the record is inserted that time the current timestamp will be inserted in this place let's write the string function over here pass the self and return self dot user dot username so this is nothing but your self dot user so we are relating to the users table and in that we are just calling the username field save now let us go and register this in our admin dot py file copy and paste say profile and let us migrate it so open your terminal now py manage.py make migrations so profile is created now let us migrate it py manage.py migrate okay so it has been migrated close the terminal and let us check it in our database once we'll just refresh so here it is profile 
fields we have phone address city country state and all the fields which we just added so now let us write the code to insert the data for that when the user is placing his first order so here when the user has requested to place the order so that time we are going to fetch the user details so just say current user variable and call your user model user okay, you need to import it okay, from django dot contrib dot auth dot models import user okay objects dot filter where id is equal to request dot user dot id and we are going to take the first record so here we are going to check if the user's first name is null or not so if say if not current user dot first name first underscore name so this is your database field name which was there in the user table let me show you the auth user have it here right first underscore name that thing we are just checking over here so if it is empty then we are going to update that thing current user dot first name first underscore name is equal to request so that thing we have it over here and you can just copy it from here request dot post dot get of f name and then we have the lm field so just copy and paste and instead of this first let us make it to last and change this to l name so you can just confirm this with your database once so it is over here last name so these two things we are storing it in the user model right say current user copy and paste dot save function so user is placing his order for the first time so we are just checking if it is not filled already then we are filling that column and the other things we are going to use it in the profile so we are going to check if not then call your profile model here profile dot okay you need to import it say profile profile dot objects dot filter where user is equal to request dot user okay so okay put a colon over here so if the profile of the user has been created so if there is a record with that logged in user in the profile table then this thing is going to return true so we are just checking it if it is not true that means if the profile is not been created for this logged in user then we will just create it say user profile is equal to profile model and then we are just going to say user profile dot user is equal to request dot user so the logged in user we are just uh, assigning it to the user field and then we have the other things that is phone address city state country and pin code so we'll just take phone address city country pin code copy and paste align them so just change this control d and select them okay and then just say user profile dot save function so by this what we are going to do is we are just inserting the default address of the user which is putting it for the first time in his order so now we are going to pass this to the checkout.html file from here so if you are following from the previous video i had mentioned that we will be doing this thing in the upcoming videos so now we are just finishing that thing say user profile is equal to profile model dot objects dot filter where user is equal to request dot user dot first and then we are just going to pass this thing in our context 
over here put a comma and paste colon save the file and now go to your checkout.html file so here you can see right we have all the input fields over here so we need to specify a value for them when the page is being loaded see value is equal to within double curly braces just print that request dot user dot first underscore name and just copy that copy and paste this is going to be the last name and then this is the email so this thing we are taking it from the current logged in users table so from the user table and these things we are going to take it from the profile which we just passed it in our checkout.py let me just show you over here user profile say user profile dot phone then copy that copy and paste so this is a text area right so this will not have value instead you have to paste it in between this so first we'll just finish all these things country and pin code just copy this and paste okay and now just copy this thing and paste it in your text area and say user profile dot address okay so now let us just test our code go and refresh so let us check with our orders table first so i have one order over here so now let me just place the second order so you can see the email is already auto filled over here and these things will be inserted now and then the next records it will start auto filling itself so let me say om prakash and say phone number address okay so let me click on place order okay, there is some issue here field id expected a number but got object where is it let us check in our code I think it's over here dot id refresh and here it is your order has been placed successfully so this thing so this id we had already put it over here but i was just checking something so i just removed it and that caused the error so if you're following the video from the beginning then you will not get that error so it has been inserted let us just check in our orders table so here is our order and now let us check it in our profile table So here it is. My default address is stored over here, and in my user table, it is auth user. So I must be having my first name and last name over here. Yes. So now let me just go to the checkout page. Let me add a product. Add to cart. Checkout. And now you can see all my data is already pre-filled over here. So if you want to change your details for a particular order, so you can directly change it. Let me just show you. Testing different address. And I'll say place order. So you can see. So your default address will not be changed. So that thing will be in the profile itself. But in your order, you will be getting your updated details, whatever you had put. So you can see here, testing different address. So in the upcoming videos, we will be making over here my order section and then we will be integrating few payment gateways in our Django e-commerce. So thank you for watching this video guys. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.